I'm not sure what time you'll be watching this, so good morning or good evening or good afternoon or whatever is appropriate. Welcome to a very ministerial Thanksgiving celebration. We may not be gathered in the same building, but at this time, when we need each other so much, we are invited to worship together from where we are, knowing that God can hear us all and can blend even distant voices into one song of worship. The elements of this service have been gathered from a variety of sources. If you would like a list of those sources, please contact me. This is a time for giving thanks, a time to be mindful of the good that encircles us. Thank you, God, for all you have given us. Friends and family encourage and care, and this community shows us God's loving ways. Thank you, God, for all you have given us. We find a home in God's creation, and the earth gives us good food to make us grow. Thank you, God, for all you have given us. The seasons change. Sunshine comes and goes, yet your loving care for us is eternal. Thank you, God, for all you have given us. Let us pray. Let us join our hands and hearts in gratitude on this wondrous day, where we have the abundance of our lives before us. We remember on this day of bounty all those who do not have enough, who are afraid, who are lonely, and who suffer. We wish for the abundance of this world to be shared, for fear to become love, for the lonely to feel welcomed, for the suffering to know rest and joy, for the labors, the love, the care that gave us the delights of this and every day, we say thanks. For the nourishment of our spirit and the challenges that strengthen us and the friends we have on the journey, we sing thanks. For all that is in our lives, for these good gifts, we whisper thanks. Overflowing with gratitude, let us shout thanks. Amen. Thank you. 
Please pray with me. Gracious Creator, you have given us so much, but too often we take those gifts for granted or as something to which we are entitled. You call us to live in caring community, but too often we place our wants and needs first with those of others a distant second. You call us to share your gifts with the world around us, but we are worried that there may not be enough, and our worrying gets in the way of our sharing. For all the times we mistreat and misuse your gifts, for all the times that we assume that we get what we have by ourselves, forgive us and lead us back to the path of, wi path of wisdom. God is a gracious giver. God is gracious in forgiveness. God calls us to new patterns and new life. We are forgiven people. Thanks be to God. Amen. Beloved, there is nothing you can do to separate yourself from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Nothing, neither life nor death, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will ever be able to separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And let us pray. Holy One, you created the heavens and earth, the snails and gazelle, the dandelion and rose, inchworms and kittens, and heirloom tomatoes, and kites, and ocean waves, of all the hues of the color blue, we are grateful. Grateful that we have any sense of your mysterious presence. Grateful that you give us life, and ask simply that we live abundantly and fully into your calling, to be your love in this world. Even so, we know that instead of loving recklessly and wastefully, we live hedging our bets and on the safe side. But we care, oh God, we do care. And so we pray for those who suffer, for those who are sick, for those who are lost, for your dear earth that gasps for health, for your dear innocents who are targets of random violence, war, and neglect. Help us remember that we are your beloved children and that we live in your beloved world, and that we are alive and can experience life. Bring your healing and love in the corners and streets and spaces in which we live and move and have our being. We pray in the name of our Maker, our Savior, and our friend. Amen. Our first reading is from Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land with flowing streams, with springs and underground waters, welling up in valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey, a land where you may eat bread without scarcity, where you will lack nothing. A land whose stones are iron, and from whose hills you may mine copper. You shall eat your fill and bless the Lord your God for the good land that he has given you. Take care that you do not forget the Lord your God by failing to keep his commandments, his ordinances, and his statutes, which I am commanding you today. When you have eaten your fill and have built fine houses and live in them, and when your herds and your flocks have multiplied, and your silver and gold is multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied, then do not exalt yourself, forgetting the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, who led you through the great and terrible wilderness, an arid wasteland with poisonous snakes and scorpions. He made water flow for you from flint rock, and fed you in the wilderness with manna that your ancestors did not know, to humble you and to test you, and in the end to do you good. 
Do not say to yourself, my power and the might of my own hand have gotten me this wealth. But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, so that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your ancestors as he is doing today. And our responsorial psalm is from 145. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. I will I praise, praise your, your name, name forever, forever, Lord. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. I will, I will praise, praise your name forever, Lord. Lord. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. I will praise your name forever, Lord. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, Lord. A reading from the Apostle Paul to the Corinthian Church. The point is this. The one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. The one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each of you must give as you made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance, so that, by always having enough of everything, you may share abundantly in every good work, as it is written. He scatters abroad, he gives to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You'll be enriched in every way through your great generosity, which will produce thanksgiving to God through us. For the rendering of this ministry not only supplies the needs of the saints, but overflows with many thanksgivings to God. Through the testing of this ministry, you glorify God by your obedience to the confession of the gospel of Christ and by the generosity you're sharing with them and with all others, while they long for you and pray for you because of the surpassing grace of God He has given you. Thanks be to God for an indescribable gift. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the 17th chapter. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said and replied, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has not but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of our Lord. Thanks be to God.
And let us give thanks to God for all God's gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea. We thank, thank you, Lord, for all that is gracious in the lives of people revealing the image of Christ. We thank you, Lord, for our daily food and drink, our homes and families, and our friends. We, we thank you, Lord, for minds to think and hearts to love and hands to serve. We, we thank you, Lord, for health and strength to work and leisure to rest and play. We thank you, Lord, for the brave and courageous who are patient in suffering and faithful in adversity. We thank you, Lord, for all valiant seekers after truth, liberty, and justice. We thank you, Lord, for the communion of saints in all times and places. We thank you, Lord. Above all, we give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given to us in Christ Jesus our Lord. To him be praise and glory with you, O Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And as you taught us, so we pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. receive this blessing. Please be gentle with yourself and others. We are all children of chance, and none can say why some fields blossom while others lay brown beneath the harvest sun. Take hope that your season will come. Share the joy of those whose season is at hand. Care for those around you. Look past your differences. Their dreams are no less than yours. Their choices in life no more easily made. And give. Give in any way you can. Give in every way you can. Give whatever you possess. 
give from your heart. To give is to love. To withhold is to wither. Care less for the size of your harvest than for how it is shared, and your life will have meaning, and your heart will have peace in Christ. May we always walk gently upon the earth in right relationship, nurtured by your love, O Lord, open to the wind of the Spirit, taking only what we need, always open to the needs of others, making choices that bring well-being, living with generosity, striving for justice, honoring all with reverence, reconciling and peacemaking, mindful of those who will come after, recognizing our proper place as part of your creation. Grant us the strength and courage, Lord, for such a radical transformation into your kingdom. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.